President Joe Biden is trying to re reassure Americans that the U.S. banking system is safe. That's despite two major bank collapses, the likes of which we haven't seen since 2008. It's one reason experts say the Silicon Valley bank failure is unnerving for so many people. West Chusanika Hope asked what this means for your money. The president is reassuring Americans that the U.S. banking system is safe after Silicon Valley Bank, which catered to the tech industry, collapsed. All customers who had deposits in these banks can rest assured, I want to rest assured they'll be protected and they'll have access to their money as of today. The government agreed to cover every cent of the customer's deposits, even those that exceeded the federally insured limit of $250,000. When a bank goes under, you're guaranteed by law to get up to 250000 of your dollars back as long as it's FDIC insured. Chance Robinson, the CFO at Strong Point Financial Group in Orlando, says you don't have to have everything in one account. You know, you can use uh, multiple accounts or multiple banks and be able to get up to that limit in each one and even join account. Florida Gulf Coast University professor Tom Smythe says there are few signs this could lead to a 2008-like crisis. The good that would come of this is if things like car loans, credit card loans, and mortgage rates started to come down. Robinson and Smythe agree. While this situation is contained, one that could have more of an impact is the Fed's decision on interest rates, which is expected soon. They may either have to help, uh, have to hold rates constant, or there is some discussion of them dropping rates. That puts the Fed in an incredibly difficult position. For anyone worried about investments. The market is uh, very responsive though. I mean, you know, as we've seen, the, mar the market took a big hit um, last week when it was announced that they were going under. Today, it started to stabilize a little bit more. I think the biggest thing is don't make any knee-jerk reactions. Anika Hope, West 2 News.